Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Um, this is kind of an update on my last Minecraft video where I did the piston door. Um, kind of expanded on it and I added something new. So we'll go ahead and take uh, take a look. Um, so this is where my door is. I kind of hid it from everything. Um, I thought I did a pretty good job of hiding it. Um, besides, it's kind of obvious just that one side where there's not grass <laughs> coming down. That's obviously where the door is, but I think I did a pretty good job of hiding it. This was all flat area at one time, and I built my thing here, um, the door, and then I added in like kind of an underground base, so we'll see. We'll take a look at that. And it's not really much of anything right now. Get rid of that annoying sound. Um, but I hit the door, or button, and it opens up like that. And then, like um, as you saw earlier, the pistons, last time, the pistons come out and you see the pistons when you want to leave. But I changed that to where now it's flush with both sides, which I think is really cool. Um, it's not really that hard, um, just a little bit of timing issues, I noticed. Um, and now for something that took me the longest time, and um, I guess I'll just show it to you. A hidden staircase, which I was very proud of making. Um, even though I did follow a tutorial, um, or not really, it wasn't really a tutorial, it was just a video showing what he had done, and then I freeze-framed on the video, um, and kind of copied it and kind of made some changes to make it work, but um, uh, I did it off of Rolf David's uh, Hidden Staircase door, um, or Hidden Staircase Passageway. Um, if you don't know Rolf David, I definitely take a gander at his videos, he's very helpful, he knows how to, he knows all the logic gates and he has tutorials on all the logic gates and the piston logic gates like XNOR, OR, AND, NOR, T flip flops, all that good stuff, um, RS, NOR latches, but yeah, um, so yeah, hit the button and the ground parts and the stairs fold down, which I think is really cool, um, and then obviously you can close them, which isn't really much of anything. Besides, you can kind of see what's in there. But I figured I'd show you, um, I might do this in two parts. We'll see how it works out. But I wanted to show you the wiring that I had, that I did for both of these. That is still so cool that you can do that. But um, actually, I'll go outside. It's beautiful out here. <laughs> And I was having a hard time finding this again because obviously just from the ground, from the sky, it looks like any other ground. So I added this lamp, but then I noticed that these trees that I planted to kind of hide everything, um, kind of still kind of hide the lamp. Um, but it, it's not it's not that hard anymore. But we'll go up top here, and I'll show you the above ground wiring, which should be about right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Um, it's basically what we had last time, and I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what I did. Wait. Oh, whoops. I knocked off a repeater over there. Um, shit. Oh, let me fix that. Okay, now that's fixed. Okay, so before we had this, we had it from here over here. We basically just inverted the door where we have two pistons over here that push out blocks over here. Um, the only thing I had to do was I had to change the timing on... I think I have that right. Maybe I don't. Fuck. Hold on. Okay, let's take another look at this. I keep... I don't know what keeps happening. Um, I keep accidentally hitting stuff, because my re... I have single player commands on, so it's reaching. Okay. Um, that's supposed to be three, that's supposed to be two, and those are supposed to be three.
I think that's right. Yep, that's right. Okay, so you, I added a couple more repeaters to adjust the timing because um, I have a redstone torch underneath this block, and I'll show you that in a minute. But um, because the redstone torch is under this block and no longer this block, it screws up the timing of which repeaters light up first. So I adjusted this to two so that it re reacts faster. So I have each of these on four and then this at two. So this goes a little bit faster than this, obviously, and this is obviously what fires first. Um, and because of that's what fires first, I had to adjust the timing. And these are basically the same back here. These just have to be three each for some reason. Um, and it's basically the same thing over here, two, three, three, three. And one, of course, on that one. Um, so that's basically about it about the top wiring. So now let's go to the, um, the bottom wiring. Okay, so you saw a little bit of this a um, couple seconds ago. And basically the setup here, <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's right. What, wait, what is that? Hold on, let me set some glowstone so I can actually see what the hell I'm looking at. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that you want, obviously, is a, um, a piston T flip-flop, which my thanks goes to, I think, on my last video, it was Bill Shackles who um, sent me the video on that. So a very kind thank you to him. Um, and let's get some light in here. Um, if you don't know what a T flip flop is, basically what happens. Okay, let's put a button. I can find a button. Um, here. And basically you have the setup, you have a piston here, a piston here, a dirt there, a hole here with a redstone torch so that when you hit this, it moves over, powers this block, and then um, powers this redstone line and, uh, and that redstone line which goes over there. Which I'm not sure why I have two of these. Why I, ha why I have two of those set up, I'm not entirely sure. Especially since it's not on. That's weird. Um, I'll, get, I'll fix that later. But it splits off and this goes to this side and this goes to this side. Powering those both sides of those pistons and this chicken is in here. And then when you hit it again, it turns it off. As you can hear, those pistons fired. Um, it works pretty well. It avoids the problem of the button closing the your door again. Wait fill this back up and 